Hey, it's Brian Harley, American Iron Magazine, and this is the 2017 Harley Fat Bob. Let's jump in the saddle, take it for a spin, see what it's all about. Thanks to its high output twin cam 103, the 2017 Fat Bob delivers plenty of pop off idle. The high output engine has more cam lift and breathes a bit freer than the standard TC-103. Hustling over the curves of our favorite mountain testing grounds, the Stout Fork does an admirable job of keeping the rubber on the road. The meaty Dunlops provide plenty of traction and the Fat Bob is solid at lean. Steering is smooth and lighter than you'd think for a 701 pound motorcycle thanks in part to a moderate 29 degree rake angle. And while we love having the dual discs on the front, Overall, there's a healthy amount of unsprung weight on the fork and compression is a bit soft as it does clang a few times as we maxed out the fork's travel. First gear will get you up to 45 miles per hour before banging off the rev limit around 5800 RPM, while second pushes you up to freeway speed before signing off just shy of 65. In sixth gear, the Fat Bob maintains a 65 mile per hour stride with nominal effort, exerting only 2370 RPM. Roll on's decent until you hit a sweet spot surge around 3000 RPM. The Fat Bob stands apart from other diners thanks to its signature chunky front tire, slotted disc wheels, and dual headlights. Running the wires internally keeps the drag bars nice and tight. Burly Tommy gun exhaust and thick coil over shocks and black sheaths complement the Fat Bob's hot rod chops. So does the black powder coating on the heads and cylinders of the high output twin cam 103. The dual discs on the front feature four piston fixed calipers that provide ample stopping power. The Fat Bob we tested was equipped with Harley's ABS, a $795 option and its current system isn't near as pulsy as the first generations of Harley ABS. But overall, stopping distance is still pretty long due to the sheer mass of the bike. Rumbling around on the 2017 Fat Bob, the bike's headlights are wide and risers are tall enough so riders aren't getting blasted in the chest at highway speed. The bike's foot controls are punched out pretty far and the bars are wide and the riding position can't a tad forward. The arrangement is suitable for a six foot rider, but a stretch for anyone below 5'8 or so. The seat's well padded, but the raised back locks riders into position. But going cross country isn't what the Fat Bob's about. It's about dropping the clutch, spooling up the back tire, and ripping up the road. And that, it's got covered in space.